Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this kindergarten science curriculum from Elemental Science, and this is by Paige Hudson. Um, I kind of feel like this curriculum doesn't get a lot of love. Um, when I tried to research different science curriculums on YouTube, I didn't really find a lot of videos on this curriculum, but I just looked at their website and I just went with it, I, and I'm so glad that I chose it, and so I just wanna share my review. Um, and share what I love about it and hopefully you'll love it too and you can choose it um, but of course only if it really fits your family so let me just go ahead and get straight into what this uh, curriculum offers here so on the teacher guide you'll notice firstly the table of contents it'll start with an introduction which just kind of goes into just kind of what this curriculum how the format it goes through so there's the weekly topic there's hands-on projects, there's read-alouds, the student diary, which is like the notebooking where they will uh, write down what they've learned, but it also includes coloring pages, um, the demonstration sheet, uh, the activity page, and a nature journal sheet. This is the required book list that is the more mud pies to magnets for their, um, for their experiments, and then the nature, the handbook of nature study for their nature study part. Then these are the library book lists. So there's a lot of books you can read, as you can see through the year. Okay, so here we are um, getting into unit one, which is intro to chemistry. Um, so it'll give you a layout of the whole unit first. So this is the weeks it's one weeks one through six and um this is for that preschool or, or kindergarten grade so they're very simple but it also is a little bit of a rigorous curriculum because there is just so much involved that you can do um, however i would say it is also very flexible because you don't have to do everything that they say you can do you can just focus on the nature study part of it or you can just focus on the reading part of it um, so that's what's nice about this, is that you can really tailor it for your ch children's needs. So you'll see here that there's the supplies needed for the unit, and so this is week one. These are all the things you'll need for week one. So this is a really nice layout for, so you can see ahead and see what you'll need. So this is what you'll need for the six weeks. And then this is the, um, the book scheduled. So these are the required books that you'll need. Again, it's the same that I just showed but then these are the read aloud suggestions that and then this is getting into week one so the, the week one was solids and, li and liquids um, this is the weekly topic so this again is just for the you as a teacher and it tells you the main idea of the week and it's a very simple um, concept that they can understand a solid melts into a liquid and then the introduction you're going to display something for them so that in this case it's a um, a piece of ice and a crayon and you're going and it tells you what you can say to the students and you can even ask them the question is the crayon in front of us melting and this is kind of an idea of what they will say and what they'll observe and then in the student diary they will have a coloring page that they can color it's a picture of a crayon so I'll go ahead and show you that so this is the first page where they can it's like a coloring sheet and so they can color in the crayons so this is just a picture just so that they can, um, as you're talking about, you know, the concept, they can color this. And the next thing it says, this is a lap book assignment, but we didn't get the lap book, but this is just like an additional things where you can like cut and paste things into the book. And then this is the hands-on projects part. So I just wanted to go into the three keys actually of this curriculum, because I didn't mention that yet. But there's three keys, as and you may have noticed it already, but the three keys, what they are is the hands-on experiment or demonstration. That's the first key. The second key is gathering information, which is the reading part. And the third key is the student record keeping, or in this case, it's the st um, student diary pages. That, that's where they're going to record what they have learned. And so that's kind of like their way of like really instilling um, the concept and what they're learning into their minds. 
Okay, so with that in mind now, um, there's the scientific demonstration. So this is the first key. And this is actually part of the first key as well because it's the demonstration. You're de demonstrating something, but now it's like the hands-on project. So this project, all the projects you're going to find in this book. And so it'll tell you what page to go on, but it will tell you what you need. And then it'll tell you, okay, now you can find the instructions on page 38. So, okay, so after the, the experiment, then they will go into their, their student diary and they're going to fill out, um, let me just go to it. So go back to the first week here. And I'm gonna not show the face here. Let me find. <laughs> okay, so what they can do is they can uh, draw uh, what they learned. They can, like a picture narration. Uh, but what I did is I just took pictures. And then he dictated to me what he wanted me to write. So it says we heat them up. And I, you know, added the crayons part. In the oven, it melted. And then we touched it. That's what he said. So I just wrote what he said. And then I added this part just to make sure he to write down what he um, learned as he got a little more advanced with his writing. Um, he would write his, you know, what he learned. So that's that part of it. The next part is nature study. So it says find wax coatings. You can go into the tree. Okay, so they tell you to go into the handbook nature study book and they tell you what page to go on just to kind of this is actually just for you as the teacher or parent um, to read up on it so that you know what to look for and what you can bring out to your student. Um, and then you go on a walk and you try to find pine trees and observe them. And then you can um, look for those wax coatings because like the crayons, um, it's a solid and it's wax. In the student diary, they have um, a section where you can draw what you saw and then write down what you've learned. Um, obviously this week we didn't even, you know, fill that part out, um, but that is there every week they have it, this as well. And these are the re extra read alouds. Again, this is the, um, encyclopedia and then the other books that you can find at the library. And then these are additional activities. So the art activity is another thing that they have um, that they include in the student diary. So here's the coloring with cookies. So he grabbed those um, crayons that had um, solidified and then he just kind of like, he was supposed to color with them. Obviously he just scribbled. <laughs> um, that's what they, the art part. And then, and these are just additional things that they can do if you want. And there's a snack. They always have a snack for every week, which is really, you know, cool and, just gives it that fun, you know, element to the activity. So um, in this case, it was a solid popsicles. And so they're eating their popsicle. They're watching it melt. <laughs> and then there's a game that they can play. He, it says uh, choose several foods they want to melt, like chocolate or crackers, and then see which ones will melt and play a game. Like, do you think this will melt? So they're, they're making their guesses and then they uh, will see if they were right or not. So it's, you know, helping them think. And then, so this is nice because um, it gives you options because this is a lot. <laughs> that was a lot that you can do in one week, right, for science. But there's two options of how you can schedule it. So there's a two day a week. So you could just do science for two days. And you'll notice that there's less things to do on these two days. But they still include the three um, keys, which is the science project, the reading, and the writing it down, um, the notebooking. So day one, they would just do the introduction with the color page and they would do the, the science project. And then day two is the nature project and the art activity, and that's it. And then for the five days a week, there's pretty much everything that we went over, but in little chunks. So you're not totally overwhelmed with doing everything all at once. So that's just week one, and it just goes like that for the rest of the year. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do a little flip of what is in this encyclopedia. You'll notice it's very colorful and visually appealing for the children. So we could do a little flip here. Here's the animals and then the human body. 
but yes, you notice it's just very colorful. Get those facts in. And this is the Mud Pies to Magnets book, and you just notice all these experiments. They're pretty simple. They use things that you have around the house. Also with this curriculum, you can buy their science kit and it gives you a lot of little things that you'll need through the year. So I really enjoyed this curriculum. Yeah, I think this is a great way to get um, your children to kind of like have that routine of those three keys of learning and get them excited for science, get them wanting to learn about the world around them. Thanks for watching. Bye.